Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, the, the weather continues to be the unending story around here. The wind really hasn't let up, but over the weekend, guys uh, were able to get out on Saturday and Sunday, especially on Sunday as the weather finally cooperated and a lot of nice fish have uh, been caught this past weekend. Some of those lakes include up in the northeastern part of the state. Uh, Bitter has been really good on Saturday as, as well as Sunday. Uh, Wabe, Reeds, Swan, uh, Dry Lake by Clark, and then also Indian Springs. Some of the lakes down in the southeastern part of the state have really kind of picked up. A couple of those include Madison, as well as uh, uh, Twin, and then also Ponson. Other lakes that continue to produce uh, some nice sized walleyes uh, include Dry by Willow Lake, also Henry and Thompson. Uh, a few walleyes being caught at 81 Ponds, especially at late afternoon and evening uh, from shore, and then also uh, Sinai and Vermilion have been doing pretty well at the same time. What have guys been using? Mainly jigs and minnows, jigs and twister tails, and a lot of guys now are throwing some swim baits. Uh, so stop on by and take a look at a great selection of swim baits that we have on hand. And folks, the Missouri River bite uh, continues to go really well uh, from shore and from boat. Uh, guys from uh, fishing from shore have been throwing, uh, again, uh, jigs and minnows, uh, also using cropping uh, rigs, and then also guys are throwing original floating wraps, and, and all of them have been producing fish. It looks like uh, the spawn's reaching its peak and probably going to start tapering off here in the next week or so, so if you're looking for some fish, uh, head out to the Missouri River with the minnows and then also those floating wraps. Well, the crappie bite's kind of taken off across the area. A lot, some of the lakes that have been producing some really nice crappie include uh, Scott Slough, Vermilion, Pickerel, and then, of course, Thompson. And uh, the jig that they've been using, hate to say it again, it's that time of the year, but the Shiny Hiney by Arky. Stop on by, we have a huge selection of Shiny Heinies, and you'll never hear me say that again. But again, stop on by and get your Shiny Heine today. And now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. So remember, take the photo and then send it to me. And a couple of things before I let you go for this week's report. Uh, first off, we have leeches in. If you haven't been by the store lately, we do have leeches in, and they're really nice leeches for this time of year. So stop on by or give us a call to reserve your leeches for your trip. Also, we have a large selection of bass jigs. If you're a bass fisherman, large mouth or small mouth, stop on by and take a look at our enlarged inventory for bass fishermen. Stop on by, give us your impression. If you'd like to see something more, let us know and we'll bring it in for you. Well, for, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.